Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom. Today's video is going to discuss male versus female Belgian Malinois. So when I was picking my puppies, this was something that I wasn't sure about. I really didn't know. I didn't have the information and I wasn't sure if um, choosing a male over a female was gonna make any kind of difference and how that would translate long term, um, if that should even be a consideration uh, that would sway my decision. So if you're like me and you just don't know, hopefully today's information will help you make that decision a little easier. So let's drill down into it. So let's go ahead and tackle the most obvious difference. Uh, generally speaking in the animal kingdom, males are larger than females, and the Belgian Malinois is no exception to this rule. So um, just as a generalization, male Belgian Malinois can be about 20 pounds or so heavier than their female counterparts. Um, they're also a few inches taller as well. So how exactly does size come into play? Well, think about it. I am a woman, I'm smaller in stature. I find it easier to work with a smaller female dog. I have handled both, I have worked with both. Um, I've been on the end of the you know, lead with large Malinois, and I found that to be a little bit more difficult to you know, hold on to and, and train with. Whereas um, now I have Fury, and she's a much smaller uh, female Malinois. easier to work with her just because of her size in relation to my own size. So that might be something you want to consider. So now I'm going to go ahead and let the secret out of the bag. When it comes to male versus female Belgian Malinois, there really isn't any difference but size. Um, the sex or the gender of the dog is not going to be a very consistent um, or reliable way to predict the drive or focus or um, you know traits and, and general temperament of a dog. It really doesn't have anything to do with male versus female. So what is it? What should we be looking for if we really shouldn't be considering um, the sex of the dog? And so what I think plays the most important role, the thing that you should be looking at number one when considering a Belgian Malinois puppy is not the sex of the dog. It is the genetics of the dog that play the biggest role in predicting and determining what type of dog that is going to develop into. So while I feel that genetics play a very, very important role and should be high, 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 in fact, maybe number one on your list of considerations when you're looking at a Malinois, um, it goes beyond just genetics. How your dog is bred, how your dog is whelped, um, handled, how they're introduced to food and when, um, you know, how they're socialized, all of these things are actually way more important to consider than the sex of the dog, which really just boils down to the size of the dog, because that really is the only difference. These other things are so, so, so much more important. So how your dog is, you know, uh, whelped and socialized and introduced to food and all of those things are actually a much better indicator of how your dog uh, will develop into adulthood. So guys, simply put, do not let the gender of the dog sway your decision. Um, don't make the mistake, don't do yourself the misservice of having it in your mind that maybe you only are interested in um, a male Malinois. And so you go to look at the litter and have your pick and maybe four of the eight Malinois puppies are females and you have just blacklisted half of the litter. You're not even willing to consider them or look at them because they're females. When for all you know, maybe the most like perfect pick of that litter, the, the, the just most solid dog in that litter was a female. 
and you've missed out on that because you weren't willing to consider her simply based on the fact that she was female. And the same could be said for a male. Maybe you're only wanting, um, you know, to pick a female. And so you overlook half of the litter uh, because, you know, they're half the litter is male. So, you know, again, this is not a good indicator of anything. The, the gender of the dog is not a, a consistent or reliable way to um, determine the overall, you know, traits and qualities and temperament and that kind of thing that the dog is going to possess. There are other like I mentioned before, way more reliable and consistent and proven ways to make a good pick. And gender is just not one of them. So feel free, pick a male, pick a female, it doesn't matter. What you wanna do when you're picking your Malinois puppy is look for the most confident puppy, um, ask the breeder or the kennel who's, you know, whelped the, the litter, uh, you know, tell them what you're looking for and let them assess the litter for you and trust what they're saying. They've been watching these puppies and hopefully working with these puppies from the time they were four or five weeks old. So, you know, let them kind of guide you into a good puppy selection and don't let gender be one of the things that throws you off from maybe connecting you with a fantastic pup.